Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 4th, 2020. So, hey, let's grab ourselves something to drink, get all comfy in our chairs, and let's get ready for the morning edition, the Tuesday morning edition of the Morning Market Prep. So, my goodness, um, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little bit seasick with the price action of this chart lately. And it's kind of interesting that, um, oh, well, what's happening this morning, I can't quite get my head around. So, first off, um, we had yesterday, we had a, a nice gap up and a, and a bullish run that was starting to, to move up pretty sharply. And then all, all of a sudden we got some news that a person that was on a cruise boat um, six days after leaving the ship uh, contracted the virus. And, um, and now that put a scare into all of these folks that were on the cruise ship and they uh, spread out around the world, obviously, going back home. Um, what that might mean for additional outbreak of the virus. So that tempered the market spirits yesterday. And even though last night the numbers um, grew dramatically, we have now 425 deaths um, and over 20,400 folks um, in this. We've even had U.S. officials um, warning that this could turn into a pandemic. Um, but this morning, the market is deciding none of that matters. We're not going to worry about it at all today. And we're going to gap up huge. So um, anyone caught short in this, this could easily trigger a short squeeze this morning um, with this big move up. It's going to create some real interesting price action. Um, and this surge is really remarkable this morning. So anyone caught short is going to feel the pain this morning and likely be forced to cover their short positions to protect themselves. But one of the things I want to point out here is right now Dow is looking to gap up right here into this area. And Dow gapping up into there means that we are gapping up right into price resistance levels. And let's keep in mind that we've done we've had big gaps before that can potentially fail so we gap up and if we find nothing but sellers in here for or if we get additional bad news about virus things we could certainly turn back around however if that um can actually hold up in here throughout the day, maybe even break through those resistance levels up here, we may have a, um, a good comeback on our hands here in the Dow. Now keep in mind, no matter what happens on this gap up this morning, I'm not chasing it. I absolutely refuse to chase it. I will not do it. There's been too much evidence that we, we could gap and then we will eventually either consolidate or we will pull back in some way shape or form giving me a lower risk entry into the trade i will not chase a move like this so keep that in mind as you're looking at this market we're gapping into price resistance there's a lot of mojo going on this morning a lot of probably be a lot of fear of missing out a lot of a lot of folks will want to chase this move but be careful it's just as dangerous as chasing a, a moving car um, we want to guard ourselves against that particularly particularly as we poke up here toward price resistance levels let's take a look at the spy spy also gapping substantially higher this morning and we will also be gapping right up into some price resistance in the chart so let's watch that close and be careful chasing it is entirely possible i don't think that's going to happen but it's entirely possible we find sellers if if more news of virus brings out those fears we could have a pop and drop 
pattern here today. That's certainly possible. So consider that when you plan your risk into a trade, make sure you're getting those trades after we get that confirmation of a pullback so that we have a low risk entry rather than chasing a stock gapping way up where our stop or our support level is opening up a really big area of risk. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the Qs have been the strongest index. And surprisingly, even though Google um, disappointed last night, we are going to gap up here in the Qs. Qs leading the market right now. So um, Qs will be gapping up above resistance and actually pushing up toward all-time highs and possible all-time high breakout today. Um, NASDAQ refuses to recognize what's going on right now in, um, in the virus situation. And they're just they're just all bullish all the time. So pushing up here nice and strong and anyone caught short in here obviously obviously is going to feel the pain uh, this morning in that trade. So uh, NASDAQ could actually make new record highs today um, in one fell swoop. Pretty amazing. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also gapping up, but there's certainly nothing impressive yet in this chart. We will be breaking this downtrend in IWM this morning, but we're gapping right up into a significant level of price resistance in the chart. So we've got a lot of work here on IWM before this turns around and becomes bullish in any way shape or form let's keep in mind guys that even though we're seeing all of this bullishness the coronavirus issues continue to expand and um, news over there just isn't all that good um, um, overall we've had a, a new fatality um, um, outside of China, um, um, we are seeing the casinos in uh, Macau. Macau um, are they are closing all the casinos for two weeks. So this is not um, under control yet. And please keep in mind any news event that brings that back to the market attention could halt this rally quickly. So the last thing we want to do is chase. We want to make sure if we enter trades, we want to make sure and enter trades that have that nice tight low risk entry on the trade. So before you get all caught up in the emotion of the day and oh my gosh, I'm missing out, consider that carefully when you jump into a position. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, held up pretty well yesterday. Um, we tried moving down first thing in the morning and then rallied back up. But now this morning with this big gap up, we can expect a big move lower here on the VIX. Um, suddenly, for some reason, fear dropping out of the market. So we're gonna wanna watch or keep an eye on this level of support. If we come back in here and test that level of support and hold, that might be where fear comes back. Or if we drop even below that then we have this next level right in here that we'd want to watch somewhere in this area where we might find a little bit of fear creeping back into the market so keep a close eye on that um, pretty remarkable bullishness this morning um, I can't find the justification for it in the news but that doesn't matter and the, here's the fun thing about being a trader is I don't have to understand it what I have to do is react to the market condition try not to put my um, bias in the market but just react to what I see in the charts so with that that's how I will be trading today I don't have to understand this move I just have to focus on the price action of the charts remember to focus on my rules my discipline my plan uh, make sure I'm not chasing doing all of those things that are really important to every single trader to be profitable in the market let's take a look at t2122 this is going to be interesting today t2122 2122 had this move at one point yesterday in the full-on rally that we had we were clear up here in t2122 well we pulled back after we heard about that cruise ship passenger and um, held right in here now this 300 point gap i'm guessing this could move us sharply higher here in uh, t2122 now 
that always creates some concern for me when we get that big whip. We can get these big whip moves, come right out of a bottom, whip all the way back up and then sink right back down. So we want to watch that closely, but right now it looks like we're going to move a lot higher and we have plenty of room in T2122 to do that. So that's the good side of this. We have plenty of room. This pullback has opened up that uh, that door to the upside. We've, uh, we've shaken off a lot of that overbought condition in the market and now giving us some upside opportunity and it looks like institutions are really pushing hard on that they want this market to get back to bullishness and again i don't quite understand that but that's okay i don't have to that's what they want and that's what they're pushing hard on this morning so let's take a look at um our economic calendar for today our economic calendar has um, just a couple things that could move us around but nothing major here today um, in that um, number we have already had the motor motor vehicle number this morning and no major concern there with that factory orders at 10 p.m can give us a little bit of fluctuation in price but i wouldn't expect a whole lot there um, we're probably not going to get into those big numbers we're going to see some big numbers on wednesday and um, thursday and then of course um, the employment situation on Friday. So keep in mind, we still have a lot on that economic calendar that could affect us as we move forward this week. On the earnings front, we have a big day of earnings. We have um, around 100 and oh, well, over 150 companies reporting earnings today with a big group of earnings reports. We're gonna hear from folks like uh, Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, We'll be hearing from them. We'll be hearing from Disney. We'll be hearing from um, Aflac. We'll be reporting. We'll be hearing from Ralph Lauren, um, GILD. Um, GILD had a big pop yesterday when they said they provided some test vaccines uh, to China. Um, yesterday had a nice pop and now this morning looking like it wants to gap um, back up this morning um, we've got clorox clorox looks like clorox reported well this morning trying to move up just a little bit um, allstate we've got ford reporting today so we've got a lot of big reports. STX will report today. We'll want to watch these very, very closely as they continue to roll out um, this morning and this afternoon could definitely have an effect on our market. So watch those closely. A lot of reports to consider this morning. Let's take a look at... Um, at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, hey guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos and if you find these videos to be helpful, could you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Remember guys, the purpose of these videos are not to predict anything. They're to look at the technicals of the chart and the things that might be affecting the chart and how we might want to approach uh, the market for the day. It's that quiet time that every trader should take to focus on, on the real technicals, to not get caught up in the hype and all of the, the morning drama that can be um, cranked up as we approach a open for the market. So if you find these videos helpful, if you could also click the thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, that helps our channel continue to grow and i want to say thank you so much for all of your help and support on that it means the world to me you guys are awesome thank you very much let's take a look at um um some stocks that could be setting up and keep in mind that you want to pay attention very carefully um to this gap up open we don't want to chase trades and we want to make sure that we're buying trades at the right location every single one of the charts that i'm going to bring up uh, today um, are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security everyone should do an evaluation a careful evaluation of those trades and watch 
uh, make sure that these trades fit you personally. One of the trades I was looking at yesterday and I made mention of it was Ulta. Um, ULTA looking pretty good, holding up in this trend. I actually laid out a um, uh, bull put credit spread yesterday for folks in right way options and I still think this is looking pretty good now it looks like with this bullishness this morning Ulta may try to move just a little higher this morning let's watch that closely and keep in mind we have an open gap here that could potentially be filled so um, any breakout of here a hold of that trend looks like a nice possibility that this could start rallying up and moving through into that trend so watch that one pretty closely Ulta looking good IQ is one that's kind of an interesting uh, chart really gapped up big yesterday we'll want to keep an eye on this and you can see it's trying to follow through this morning I had a price alert in here just to kind of remind me of the chart and we're trying to gap up here this morning let's be careful because this is a long ways away from a stop loss area in a chart but as that moves up if we can rest or consolidate pull back in here provide a little bit of a lower risk entry into the trade there may be an opportunity or we just have to wait for that next opportunity in the trade but iq looking pretty good overall take a look at twitter guys twitter popped up yesterday holding this price support what I ended up doing is moving a price alert from here. I had it up here. I've moved it down because we're starting to show that nice little consolidation down in here on um, Twitter. Now, keep in mind, this reports on 2.6, so there's not a lot of time to make some money in this, but a nice little pattern showing up in here. The bullishness of today may uh, provide us an opportunity with a real quick move in here to make some money, uh, particularly for option traders. And you can see we're getting a little a bit of a gap up here this morning on Twitter so keep an eye on that and then after the report if the report does well we might want to watch Twitter because we've been trying to move back up and fill this gap um, we could see some upside opportunity in here we did break the downtrend so let's just keep an eye on that chart monster beverage um, gapped up yesterday and pulled back now this morning i don't know where this is going to go but i got to tell you um, this pattern in here has been really really strong the trend has been strong and if i pull this back you can see this is a beautiful breakout so breaking out in here moving on higher gapping and pulling back yesterday could actually set up a little bit of an area in here if we hold a support area in here we may have that opportunity to catch that next entry into this trade remember all we want to do is follow these trades that are continuing to trend so if that needs to rest a little bit more no problem we need to watch that closely for that next potential entry monster looking pretty darn good overall um, CRWD is another chart that I've been watching a uh, pretty interesting interesting pattern how we broke down support rallied right back up and now we're consolidating across here moving over toward our trend so as we move over slide out this way I want to be watching right in this area for that potential that this could pop out of here and start moving higher pulling this back you can see we've got some nice upside potential in this chart if that continues take a look at nvidia now nvidia really broke down here we we broke this shorter term trend but one thing we ended up doing is we ended up holding on to this longer term trend so you can see we have a pattern up here that's not exactly stellar but holding on to this support this volatility of the market creating all of this uh, weirdness and now we're gapping up this morning in um, nvidia keep in mind it reports on 213 a lot of these stocks have been rallying toward earnings reports so keep an eye on nvidia could possibly set up for some upside move in the chart still seeing lots of bullishness in stocks like 
Um, Microsoft, Microsoft pu pushing up strongly yesterday and now gapping up this morning um, as if there's just no stop um, right now. There seems to be no limit to the amount that folks will pay for some of these stocks, even though they're they're way above their price to earnings growth um, ratios. Just doesn't seem to be any stopping them right now. So right now, bulls pushing up strongly. That's certainly going to help the Nasdaq considerably um, with that moving up. Apple also popping up yesterday and looking to gap up this morning. Now, Apple's gapping up into price resistance. So watch that carefully in here. We could run into a little bit of a problem. Um, I had actually laid out a bear call credit spread up here for folks in RWO, and that's actually a profitable trade right now. This rally back up will take some of that profit away, but we still have that resistance up in here to think about in that trade. So let's watch that that one closely as we continue to just show tremendous bullishness in the market. There just doesn't seem to be any concern whatsoever. Um, in these charts. Um, last but not least is Lulu. Lulu had a really nice move yesterday, popping up, breaking some alerts. Now this broke down below trend and you can see broke a support level, but we recovered. And this is a, a requirement that I have to have in any trade. If a stock breaks a support level, that it must recover prove support and then have buyer step in. It's exactly what happened there on Lulu. Lulu's looking good, uh, trying to push on through and it looks like Lulu could be uh, advancing here this morning as well. So good potential chart to be uh, paying attention to. So with that everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and thanks to everyone clicking uh, clicking that subscribe button and, and leaving a comment. You guys are awesome. I want to wish you all the best. I want to wish you great profits and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning have a good one everyone